g'day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today we're going to try and burn out some stumps and I'm going to try a few different methods to see what's the best. This stump measures nearly 300 millimetres across and it measures about 850 millimetres high. It's got a hole down the centre which I'm going to cut a gap near the bottom to try and let some air in and we'll stack wood around this and see how it goes. <laughs> This next stump is roughly the same size, possibly a little bit bigger and a lot more solid than that other stump. It measures, say an average of about a metre. This one I'm going to burn with a 44 gallon drum with the ends cut out and use it as a chimney and see how that goes. This stump's a little bit bigger across, about 400, and it's about 700 high. So it probably has about the same mass, but it's a bit shorter and a bit thicker. What I've done with this one is made a couple of chainsaw cuts down about a foot to see if that's going to help burn it. We're now going to collect starting wood. We'll go around to all the stumps and put enough starting wood on to start them. Then we'll put bigger wood on after that. This is a big stump that I really can't get a drum around or anything. I'm just going to burn it in the conventional manner and stack a lot of timber around it. It'll take a lot more timber, but we'll see how it goes. We went around the paddock and I chainsawed some bits of wood and we found some bits of wood and generally cleaned up to get enough wood to be able to put on the stumps. That looks like it's going to burn, no worries.
This is after it's been burning for about 45 minutes, and I can see by the way it's using the wood that we're going to need a heap to burn it. I can see, I can see that the ones without any drum around them are going to go through the wood really quickly, so we're probably going to have to use heaps of wood to get them to burn. It'll be interesting to see by comparison how much the one uses with the drum around it. This has only been going probably half an hour. And although it's nice and hot, you know, there's plenty of red coals, but it's already going through the wood like crazy. We've left a gar a little while. This is the stump that I put the chainsaw cuts in. And you can actually start to see where the flame is going in the, tr in the top of the stump where I put the cut. So it looks like them cuts may be a bit useful. This is the drum and we can really only put smaller wood in it because we don't have the room. Having said that, it's really hot near it. There's not much flame coming out of it, but it is extremely hot. So we'll just have to see how that goes. This is the one that I cut in the bottom and it had a pipe out the top. You can see the cut there. It wasn't a real solid stump. So I'd expect this to burn away reasonably easy. This big one's looking good. Having said that, it had way more wood on it than the others, but it's got a lot of heat into it now, and so the actual stump should burn on its own without much help. You can see down in here, she's really hot in between this big timber. We've got some heat into it, so that should really help. In the morning, we'll come out and stoke them up again. And I just hope they've got enough wood on them to stay alight overnight. I think they have. This is the biggest stump that we had. And it had by far the most wood around it. And you can see it's reduced it down quite a bit, but still got a fair way to go yet. It's the one that had the hole up the centre and I cut a chainsaw cut in the bottom so it would draw. A fair bit of it's burned away, but still got a bit to go yet. This is inside the drum. It didn't burn as good as, as I would have thought, but I think part of the problem is it sealed itself onto the ground, and I think it needs to be chocked up to get air in the bottom. This is the one that I put the chainsaw cuts in, and you can see where I put the cuts, it made a big difference. It's burned out a lot more of the stump where the cuts were. You get some nice charcoal off all this anyway. This is number one stump, the one with the hole out the top and the cut in the bottom. And what I've done this afternoon is I've put a whole heap of timber on them with the loader. I think last night, more than half the night, they had no wood, so that didn't work very good. So what I've done is put a lot of extra wood and I've made it long wood so I can push it up in the morning first thing at daylight. That way we should get them burnt tomorrow. Here we've got the drum one. And I've stacked it up as full as we can. I've also packed it up off the ground with a brick so I can get air in the bottom. And that seems to be a lot more effective. The thing I can see with this drum is we've used way, way, way less wood. Whether it has a desired effect, I don't know. But I think if you set this up properly and had air going in the bottom and you didn't have a lot of wood to burn a stump, I think this would be the way to go. Here we've got the third stump which is the one I put the crisscross cuts in the top of, and it seems to be burning down nicely. I didn't get back to stoking them up until this afternoon, and they all went out. I had other work to do on the farm and couldn't get back to them until late this afternoon. Cattle keep following me from stump to stump. This is the biggest one, and it kept smouldering all day because it had bigger wood on it, so it's had a bit of an advantage over the others. Again, I've stacked it up with plenty of big wood, so we'll leave it at that till in the morning and bring the loader out and push everything up and see how it looks. This is a number one stump. That was the one with the pipe through the centre of it. And you can see it's burnt down fairly well. The fire's gone out overnight and a lot of, most of it's gone. This is all that's left of the one with the 44 gallon drum around it. And this surprised the heck out of me. I reckon it's used a quarter of the amount of wood the others have used. And the first night we set it, there was no air gap under the bottom and that led to not a very good result. 
I put that brick there and chocked it up so I could get air last night and it's done an amazing job. The cattle have been at it, eating up the charcoal for some reason. And there's what's left of the actual top of the stump. A few bits of wood spread around the paddock and they've pushed the drum over there out of the road. This system has by far outshined the others. This is the one that I put the cuts in about halfway down and it did quite well until it ran out of where the cuts were. And again, it's used a heap of wood, but it hasn't burned away anything like the one with the drum around it. This is the biggest stump, the number four stump, and it's also used way, way more wood than the others. And yesterday morning, it was actually going really well and advanced fairly well. Now that it's gotten down to it, it hasn't burned as much as I would have thought overnight. I'm gonna restack up these with the loader and some of them are gone out so they won't reignite by themselves. We'll have to reignite them this afternoon. But to me, it's absolutely obvious that the one with the drum around it is the most efficient and the quickest. What I'm now gonna do is make something a lot bigger that will go around a big stump that I can burn the stumps and also retrieve more of the charcoal out of it. Well, I found those experiments extremely useful. I think I've found a more efficient way to burn a stump and also how to use less wood than burning it out in the open. And now I have ideas on improving the whole system so that I can harvest the biochar that's created. And the cows ate it, which is really good. That saves me heaps of work. So I don't have to crush the char they eat. I don't have to inoculate it or charge it, and I don't have to distribute it. The cow does all that for me if I can get them to eat it in the paddock. So all in all, I'm now excited to make something bigger that I can do big stumps in. And when it's burnt and it's all coals, I'll put it out with water and see if I can get the cattle to eat it. Anyway, that's the next plan. See you later. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia. See you next time.